So I've just come from uh, talking with the Learn for Devs uh, seminar participants. It was a very exhilarating experience. And let's say the three key headlines that I took away was that a shared interest in sharing experiences around how do we foster an enabling environment and culture of learning, uh, innovation, and smart risk taking. So that was the first piece where there was a lot of interest. The second one was a lot of interest around uh, shared platforms and partnerships for taking learning uh, innovation to scale. Uh, we discussed uh, platforms like the Open Learning uh, Campus and South-South uh, Learning, how we can take those to scale. And the third aspect that we, picked, that we discussed is how we could leverage all of these to solve big development challenges. That's what we as development institutions are trying to do, that all this enabling culture, these platforms, can be used to tackle big development challenges. And that takes us to where we go forward. The idea is to join forces and create a shared platform where we, where we join together content and learning from the various organizations and create a learning for development platform which benefits development pr practitioners, country clients, uh, donor partners, and staff in our organizations. What I was talking about today is a paper I've just written called Fit for the Future, which is looking at how big international aid organizations need to change because what we're facing is an incredibly fast evolving world order, different issues. The example I gave was that tobacco kills six million people a year, malaria kills about one million or less, and yet somehow tobacco is not an issue we work on on development. So, but there are many other questions that are moving very fast, changing very rapidly. So how do we become less uh, of a super tanker and become more of a sort of flotilla of small boats that can adjust to rapid change, that can learn quickly, innovate, experiment, and, and, and sort of ride these new waves that are coming at us. Um, I think there are various things we need to do. One is we need to be much quicker at feedback. We need to observe the system, know when the system's changing, identify windows of opportunity, uh, new threats, but also new opportunities and respond to them. That's a very different way of working to the traditional um, quite vertical hierarchical way of working which is you spend months devising the perfect project and then implement it for three years. So moving from that planner mentality to that surfing mentality is a big, ch is a big challenge. It means things like um, giving more value, and more recognition for people who understand the, the detail of local politics, local society, local economies. That would mean much more power and recognition for local staff compared to expat staff, for example. It would mean having systems in place to respond to this feedback. So when you get the feedback that you know, a new leader has emerged in a given city or province, and that means we can do new things, there's a rapid ability to respond to that, to move resources, to, to come up with new ideas, to work with these possibilities and, and make the most of the, uh, uh, of, 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 of the window. So it needs really a rethink in how we're structured, how we incentivize staff, the kind of staff who work for us, and how we think about the world. Apart from that, it's really simple.